what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to some more walking dead season eight season hit is here today episode six we're starting off with episode six today because i'm pre-recording everything everything will be out next week you guys have seen the schedule if you have not seen the schedule check my community tab you will see what the schedule is for whatever shows you're waiting on on the channel so you'll know what days to expect those this is going to be a very big weekend for me um very big weekend for me as in recording because i'll be recording everything in two days for everything that comes up for the rest of the week okay so that's what i'm going to start doing according to my schedule um of things of starting to getting back to things i'm going to be out of my house for at least 10 hours a day so that's going to put a damper in my plans of how i used to record during the day during the week um so i've just decided to like not do anything on on saturdays and sundays except just record um reactions so i'll be doing everything on the channel you guys see what the schedule is going to be like so you'll know when to expect things so for friday saturday and sunday there's probably not going to be any releases on the channel um very often maybe there'll be um you know some manga read-throughs but there's not going to be any shows. All the shows are going to be from Sunday through th th through um, Thursdays going forward. So it's still five days. Still going to get some reaction on Sundays. But for like Friday and Saturday, there'll be no reactions on the channel. Except maybe if I'm doing a manga read through that week, then you'll see it on Saturday. Okay. So if you're watching this channel... That is what it is. If you don't know, check the community tab. You'll see it all laid out there for you. Okay. So, um, in The Walking Dead, um, I'm attempting to do four episodes in a row today. Um, and then schedule them from Monday through Thursday next week. So, um, we're just going to jump in. We know what's going on. Um, Rick's on helicopter. We don't even know if that's um, a helicopter that... Um, that's owned by Negan. We don't know. We don't know because we don't. We really don't know how far his reach goes. We don't know if they hit all the 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 um the factions, the camps. I don't know. I don't know if they did. If they did, they did. We still haven't seen the garbage people, so they're still in play. There's still a lot going on that we that we really don't know about. So. I'm loving how this season is progressing so far. You know, um, we got a situation with Carol, um, Ezekiel, and Jerry coming back um, to the kingdom. And just, they, you know, they're the only ones that survived. Um, so, I don't know what's going to take place. Rick is still walking. Um, you know, he's on his way um to, to go do something I don't, I don't know what it is at least i don't remember what it is <laughs> i should say that but i'm guessing as we go along but in any case let's go watch these episodes and i will see you guys for the review All right, so that was season eight, episode six. Um, uh, yeah, pretty slow episode, um, but it moved the story along. You get what I'm saying? Um, I really wanted to see what state Ezekiel was in. I think that was the most um, intriguing thing that I really wanted to see. Um, and, and they didn't disappoint Carol talking to Ezekiel. Um, I think that was the most riveting conversation in the entire episode. Um, Rosita and Michonne, you know, going out there looking, looking for that kind of satisfaction. They wanted to know because they didn't know what was going on because they were still back at Alexandria. So they didn't really know what's going on. So they wanted to know. She wanted to scratch that itch per se. So she wanted to know for herself. See for herself if the plan was succeeding. Yeah, they were getting news that the plan was succeeding. But they wanted to see it for themselves. Thing was kind of dumb. But at the same time, I understand why they wanted to do that. You know, they put themselves at risk. They put they got it out there. 
kind of found out about the whole speaker thing. So it was a good thing that they left. Um, but that's just kind of like coincidence, you know what I mean? But I still ended up seeing what the state of the sanctuary. So pretty cool stuff. Um, what else? Daryl, it looks like Daryl and Tara is on some lone mission. And it looks like now Rosita and Michonne is joined on that lone mission that these two are on. They're planning to go and kill killed the white because they want to just end this thing and the thing about this is this the thing about it is this where i don't disagree um wh where i will disagree right the thing that i that that i will never understand to this day is why people just don't go along with plans yeah you can feel that itch you see an opportunity you want to go for it but a lot of times you lay plans out for a reason if you follow the plan you know you will have success but you always for some reason have some people that will go rogue and do their own thing and then the plan doesn't succeed and then they won't take blame for it they won't take blame for it um we all know that daryl's character is based on you know acting from emotion and stuff like that you know we know that about daryl but at the same time you would have thought that he would have learned from the situation in for the better, I should say. Learned for the better because of what happened to Glenn. But he hasn't really. He's still making these impulsive decisions based on his emotions because um and he's he's still doing that, but it's not he's not doing that with a calm mind. Like he he, he thinks it through but still ends up making a decision. That's why him and Rick was fighting in the last episode and stuff like that because Rick has now understood what he needs to do. He needs to stay calm, needs to stay collected. Don't get emotional about this stuff because that's how people fail, okay? We don't wanna be out here, act, we wanna act out of logic and not emotion. So I totally get that. I totally see where they're going with his character um, and you know, I'm probably going to address this probably every episode this season about people not liking the season. Yes, it's a slow season, but it's good build up. You know, some people, you know, think that Negan should have been dead or whatever, but I'm enjoying his character, his character. I mean, somebody left a comment, I think, on one of the videos this week. I don't remember exactly which episode they left it on, um, was basically explaining to me that Negan is one of the more um you know <laughs> one of the more under 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 um one of the best villains right but more have more morals he has um doing things in in a better way to have that control you get what i'm saying um you know some people some people was trying to explain to me that that Negan did not is not forcing these girls to be his wife, bruh. I don't know where I don't know where y'all getting that stuff from. I don't know where y'all getting that stuff from because he is forcing them. Re regardless of how you were looking at it, it's not a choice. They yes, you can tell somebody they have a choice when they really don't have one. You get what I'm saying? When they really don't have one, you can't put a gun to someone's head. And be like, you have a choice. You can die here today, right? Or you can, you know, give me a, a blowjob or something. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Like, most people are are going to, you're really not giving the person a choice. Because if the person, everybody loves to live. So in most cases, in most cases, people are going to, um get down on the knees you know what i'm saying in most cases if they want to live because it's not really it's not a free choice it's a forced choice you get what i'm trying to say so yeah you ha when people say they don't have a choice it's not necessarily that they don't really have a choice it's more of like it's some some choices are forced choice you are forced into that position to make that choice People giving you an ultimatum, you get what I'm saying, a lot of times is 
a forced choice. You get what I'm saying? So a lot of times it's, it's just like, you know, in relationships when, you know, whether it's a man or a woman given, given a choice, you know, given an ultimatum is like, you can either, either leave or do this or do that. If you don't want to do that, you can leave. You get what I'm saying? But you don't really want to leave, but it's a forced choice. You get what I'm saying? So that's what, what I'm looking at. And I, and I'm like, yes, he, he is kind of forcing them, um, to be his wife. You know what I'm saying? Like, if they're not going to be with him, he, he, he's not going to kill them, but he's probably going to lock them up or some shit like that. And, you know, as I said, most people are not going to want to be in that position. So, of course, they're going to choose. Also, a lot of these women that he's with, they had boyfriends and husbands before they met Negan. And Negan is like, oh, I like your wife. In order to save your skin and in order for me to do this, your girlfriend, your wife has to now become my wife. You get what I'm saying? So, um, so I, I really am enjoying these interactions between these characters this season, um, slowing down the pace, you know, um, Maggie, um, always good to see Maggie. I love her character. I love her character in the show. She's one of my favorite characters in the show. And I love her interaction in this because she's actually, she's actually thinking this through. Not just because Jesus say, save him is just like, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna save him. I'm gonna save him. But they, you know, I'm saving them because they might be bargaining chips later. You get what I'm saying? If that, if push comes to shove and we don't need no bargaining chips, they all going to catch a bullet. Simple, straightforward. Because in my opinion, I think I didn't I didn't think it was a good idea to bring them inside. I would not have bring them inside. I would have set that shit up outside of the camp, not inside. But the problem with having them outside is because you're going to have to have people watch them outside, even during the night and stuff like that. Take shifts, watching them, making sure no walk, no walkers are going to eat them and stuff like that. I get Jesus perspective also I really do I really do understand his perspective and the things that he said is very true you know we got to be able to um to weigh the odds of you know what 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 exactly are we fighting for I really do get his point of view but I'm more on the side of Maggie I really do because these guys have showed absolutely no mercy to any body. Okay. Yeah. We can look at it and be like, Oh, they were this, they were that. Do you see how they treat their camps? The ones that are in charge, they treat people like they're idiots. They don't treat people very kind. Now they might be some that were dragged into, you know, getting, getting the shelter and the food and all this stuff in the savior's camps and stuff like that, that are, you know, quote unquote, innocent. But at the same time, you know, as I said, forced choice is not really a choice, but you still had a choice. You get what I'm saying? Could have went out on your own. A lot of these people are forced into these situations to serve the saviors too. So we also got to know, but you can't really pick them out of a crowd. So you kind of just have to assume all of them are bad. You know what I mean? So that's just me. That's just me. I I'm sorry to say you know, these people could have risen up and maybe taken over, you know, make a plan or something and, and took over from Negan, maybe even kill him. But that's the thing about um, being in that position of, you know, I don't want to bring this up, but slavery. That's the thing. You get what I'm saying? You could rise up, you know, and, 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 and risk casualties. And that's one of the things that really keep people enslaved is losing people close to them but we don't want to rise up and create a war and that's the thing like rick had the balls to get people together and fight back and that's why they're in a position to win right now but most people they stay enslaved they stay in order and and they never try to break out of that and 
You know what I mean? Because they don't want to risk casualties. People don't want to lose loved ones. So just like, you know what I'm saying? I'll do this and take the abuse, you know, until you die or whatever, you know. Um, but it is what it is. I totally understand um, the situation that's going on. Rick is imprisoned by the garbage people because he's trying to make a new deal with them. Um, yeah, but I do want to know why the hell they speak like that, though. I still want to know that. So if you guys know, got any information on why these garbage, because nobody speaks like that. That is not proper English. This is, this did not happen. Um, the walking dead is not, did not happen in, in, in the, in, in, in caveman time. Okay. This is, it's a very modern show. You get what I'm saying? It's a very modern show. They got modern guns. And all of this other stuff. So I'm guessing, I'm guessing the era is current era, like what we're living in right now. So nobody should be speaking like how they're speaking, unless they're like a, a freaking orphanage and somebody raised them and they've been living in that garbage heap this whole damn time, like some cavemen. Like it just doesn't make sense to me. And I think it's a show aesthetic, in my opinion. I think it may be just a show aesthetic that just applies to just the tv show because they wanted to make them you know stand out as a different group i don't think it's something that they they did in the web series it, i'm talking about the web series the the books or whatever right so so yeah so yeah man um that's all i have to say um yeah and i'll catch you guys tomorrow for the next reaction so make sure you like the video leave a comment and also subscribe if you're new Sibor terabyte reacts peace